Um, being able to have multiple bodies, like we talked about, around Giannis, seven turnovers for him. Uh, for us to have more fast break points than they have, where transition is a huge part of their game, which means we were playing at a you know pretty high level pace for us, and then we were keeping them in the half court. Uh, so a really good uh, effort for uh, from our guys, and really focused. Um, pretty much, you know, three of the four quarters we outscored them. Um, so really, overall, a pretty clean game from us. What can you say about Claxton's play for tonight? I mean, he missed, he made his first eight straight shots, missed that one in the fourth quarter. But what can you just add to what he's been able to do? Yeah, he's learning. Uh, and we talked about, you know, what they want to give up. Uh, they were okay with the ball being in his hands. That's part of their defense. And now that is the maturity of Nick, of what he's going to do when he has the basketball. So he had a little bit of both, where he got some of those possessions and sprayed it out to the weak side, got some of those when dribble handoff to another guard, and then he got some where he scored it himself. So uh, definitely maturation from him. Give him a lot of love for doing it on both ends of the floor for us tonight. And uh, luxury for us to have him, Ben, and Kay in at the same time for length, uh, and then they can play fast also. So he's growing as a young man, as a player. It's great to see. Kind of following up on that, Coach Ben, you know, we spoke some a little about, a little bit pregame about what you wanted to see from him guarding Giannis. Just what did you see from him, not just defensively, but offensively with the aggression he played with? Yeah, it was great. The, I, th I thought overall just the mental approach from guys. Like uh, we talked about, they're going to make some threes. We didn't panic. Uh, Giannis is going to get through us sometimes, and we're not going to overreact. But can we be steady throughout the course of the night to put multiple bodies in front of him? And uh, it's tough to do because he's coming downhill at you with force and you're going to get hit, and uh, that's part of it. I thought overall our guys responded extremely well. You guys have obviously had guys in and out of the rotation pretty much all season to the point where you guys are still kind of seeking that chemistry to play against a team like the Bucks. Obviously, Middleton is out, but they've had that group together for quite some time. They've had that, that chemistry, that cohesion. What does it mean to you to be able to get that one? Yeah, it's a championship team, uh, and they've learned how to play with and all their guys without all their guys. And that's what we've been trying to stress a little bit. You know, late whistle from Joe of not being able to uh, play tonight, and he was going to be the first sub. No panic from us, no excuses from us. Next man up as far as what the rotations were going to be. I thought Seth's minutes were extremely good tonight. Um, and that's where we want to get to, where we're going to play. We're going to show up every night. We're going to try to win, and uh, whoever's called on to play is going to play. Jack, I got two for you. At the yeah. beginning of this win streak, you know, you guys are get off to a hot start. You know, we talked about the second and third quarters kind of giving some back and then going into the fourth. I mean, these past few games, hot start, when they responded, you guys punched back. I guess what has kind of changed in that aspect from, you know, the start of this to, to now? Yeah, great resolve, I think, from our guys. And uh, we kind of let that second group play a little bit, play through uh, them making a run on us. Um, I think that's important for our team uh, to have confidence in that group. I really believe the start of the second quarter, that group can really do some damage for us going forward. Um, but overall, our guys really responded to their run. And the, the best part, Alex, we, we never panicked at all. I think we were pretty even keeled throughout the course of the night. Uh, great communications in the timeouts and um, a lot of good from tonight, man. And then Kyrie... My, my math is right. I think started about one for nine and then finished, you know, five for nine. Just what, what does it do for you and, and even just the, the trust to where if your best player's having a bad game, you could still get enough out of him when you really need him to? You, you, just, you just feel as a coach, it can't keep, he can't keep missing shots. Like, you know, like you just feel the next one's going to go in. And even Kay, Kay started out that way at the beginning of the game. I think he might have missed his first three or something, and then off he goes. Uh, those, those dudes are too good, man. Like, it's a matter of time. Uh, I thought our big set really good screens for him to free him up, and uh, it's a matter of time before that ball goes in, especially for those two. Jock, you had five guys with three plus assists, four with five or more assists. Yeah. Talk about just the chemistry that you're able to see and how they were able to move the ball so well. Yeah, I think it's, it starts with that first group uh, where we can be extremely effective in the half court because Kevin and Kai can create shots for everyone. And then the mix of Ben also being able to push the ball. You saw he got like Royce early shots, Seth early shots before the defense is set. And with a good defense like that, you have to have opportunities where you take advantage of early opportunities. For us to get 30 assists tonight, that's a great number for us. That means we're sharing the basketball. That means we're playing with, playing with pace. Um, that means we're making shots too, which is good. 
Jock Royce had a period before Detroit, about eight games, where he was really struggling. I think now uh, 12 to 16 from three in the last three games. Just what do you what have you seen from him? And what do you think that says about you know just his resolve? Yeah, I, I should continue to apologize to him, take him out to dinner. That was that was on me playing him too many minutes, but it was because I love what he does, and uh, you know. He, he ended up having missed two games. You know, he missed the Indiana game, missed the Washington game. Then he had the three days also. And I thought that really got him in a position where mentally and physically he was able to reload. Now you see the value that he brings to us um, on both ends of the floor. So uh, I take the, the blame for uh, running him into the ground for those first couple of weeks for sure. Coach, a, a lot of the big picture concern sometimes for this team can be rebounding right and you guys talk even tonight even 45 to let's 45, go christian right? even what a what led to that were you guys able to do that allowed you to match them in rebounding and be just what's that feeling to have worked all year at your biggest weakness and to come out with pretty much even rebound yeah tonight. we keep challenging the guys and it is a uh, ongoing story for us i think the last time we addressed it uh we were we were talking about we we have seven wins in a row because of why and a big piece of that is we had an eight percent increase in our box outs and so we're able to show how guys that and that was as a team and so we we're going to continue to point out who's boxing out who's not p boxing out uh we're going to get the stats behind it it is a collective effort it, that's who we are and uh our group is really buying into hidden bodies and that's okay for us to be successful on the defensive end of the floor. All right, guys.